Why don't you want to die? Because I'm, I just want to do a field and take a nap and everything. We are totally out of coffee. This much, someone said they wanted to see the beans. Woo, there's the beans. But this isn't even enough for a full French press, but like three quarters full probably. That's just part of living, is dying. <laughs> I want to die! <laughs> Why don't you want to die? Because I, I just want to do a field and take a nap and everything. Well, we can still do those things. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Rainier found out that we all die today. I think he found out because Felia told him that Hominy, his grandma, wouldn't always be with him. And he was super sad and I would say anxious about it. It was really hard for me just to watch him go through those emotions and my first instinct was just to try to comfort him right away about it and just to say it's okay something that i believed about the afterlife which i don't even know i'm sure he couldn't really wrap his mind around that but that was my first go-to and ben was like well why don't you just why are you just saying that to him why don't you just take it at face value and talk through with him about that everyone dies and help him to process those emotions. And then after we do that, then if you want to comfort him about it, great. But for a good, I would say 10 or 15 minutes, he just kind of sat there really sad and really upset about the whole thing. I do think that that whole topic is really hard to talk about with anyone, especially a three-year-old. Partly because it is hard. It's a hard thing to talk about. It's really sad. But I also think in our culture, our society, we're not really shown how to talk about it. We're kind of more just shown how to not talk about it. Six months ago, one of our bunnies died and Rainier was able to see death with that and it was really sad and he talked about it for days and he saw us bury the bunny in the ground, which I think helped him. And then even months later, he would just bring it up randomly. But I was able to bring that up again today and say, oh, do you remember about Cinnabunny, how Cinnabunny died? And he said, yeah. No one knows for sure what happens when we die. So there's just not really something I can just hand to him and say, here, this is exactly what happens when you die. It's a mystery we don't really know. I mean, people have their assumptions, people have their beliefs, but no one has actually died. So you don't really know for sure. And it's hard, it's hard to be, have to sit with your three-year-old and say, yeah, that is really hard, death is hard, but I think it's gonna be okay. He kept saying that he had all these things he wanted to do, which for him was watch PJ Maxx and spend time with his grandma and go play outside. 
and we told him, tried to reassure him, you'll probably have time to do all those things. I don't think you're going to die for a long, long time. And that kind of helped, but it didn't fully take it all away either. One of Ben and I's values with parenting has been to not really sugarcoat things and try to be honest about things. I think you can do that in a way that's honoring to the stage that your kid's at, but also not trying to hide the truth of something. But that's difficult, especially with a topic like death. Cammy is roasting coffee here. For those of you new around here, we get these big bags of green beans for a lot cheaper. And then we roast them ourselves in this popcorn popper. Oh yeah, our full coffee setup, if you're interested in like brand names of our grinder or our French press, all that's in the YouTube description in this Amazon link that has links to like a lot of products we recommend. And if you buy through that link, anything through that link, we get money for it, which is kind of cool. Is that your timer? Yes. All right, 12 minutes left, give or I take. I tried to get a kid to help me. I probably could have tried a little harder, but no one was like, oh yeah, sure, Bob. You gotta ask more like, uh. You know? Yeah, that's not really my thing. Like, you can't say, like, hey, do you want to do this? Just be like, hey, it would really help me out if you... No, but it's like, it's fair because you're the only one that, that drinks it as a kid. Because she was like, why can't memory do it? She's like, oh, I filmed it up. Uh, I probably could have pushed it, but... Well, you could say, I'm not going to make it for you anymore if you don't help roast it. I also didn't that's what I said to you, in fact. Eden, what are you making for dinner tonight? Fettuccine Alfredo and broccoli. Oh, that sounds good. Got the water boiling over here and the broccoli there. Eden's making dinner because Cammy and I are going on our date night, which we do every Wednesday, which is a highlight of the week for me. Going out to get some Chinese food, possibly see a movie. We'll see you guys tomorrow.